Hello all, welcome to another Arduino sensor tutorial. In this video we will learn how to wire and code MPU6050 that is MPU6050 a 6 axis accelerometer sensor with our Arduino board of course. So let's get started. MPU6050 is the world's first integrated 6-axis motion tracking device that combines a 3-axis gyroscope, a 3-axis accelerometer and a digital motion processor or a DMP all in a 4x4x 0.9mm package which is this IC in the middle. It is based on I2C protocol. Now rather than discussing the specifics, let's jump into this tutorial right away starting with hardware. MPU6050 comes in a module form with 8 pins but don't worry, we will use only 4 important pins and it will be sufficient to integrate our Arduino board. So we have VCC ground which takes any input from 2V to 5V and since this board has a voltage regulator on board, it supports 3.3V logic and 5V logic high. Next, we have few complementary capacitors, resistors in SMD form and most important part, the MPU6050 IC which is a MEMS or say micro electromechanical system which changes the voltage depending on the change in axis position. This IC also has SCL, SDA pins which are I2C communication protocols or I2C pins and XDA, XCL which are auxiliary serial pins. We won't use them in this Arduino tutorial. We also have AD0 which is address select between auxiliary and primary ports. Lastly we have INT pin. For connections we will only use VCC ground SCL SDA pins which are 5V ground A5 and A4 on our Arduino Uno and Arduino Nano board. Only the SCL and SDA pins change for the different Arduino boards. And that's all for connection. Let's move on to our computer for coding part. Before we start coding, we will need a library called as Arduino MPU6050 by Jers Grzak. You can find link to all necessary sources in description. The library has quite a few examples. To start with, let's check out gyroscope example. In this example file, we have added wire and MPU6050 libraries. Basically in this example, we will see if our sensor is working or not. We will also display the data on the serial monitor. So we begin the serial monitor in setup part. In this while loop, the sensor test sequence is executed. Sometimes we are making a project and have to set our sensor in a specific orientation. We need offsets. We don't need offset for this tutorial, but to change the offset, simply uncomment these lines. Next, there is calibration line which will virtually set our sensor flat. Remember, offset and calibration are two different things. Offset would give you defined calibration. For example, you can mount this sensor at a weird angle and yet it will act as a reference point for zero. Next, we have sensitivity which is set to default as 3. In the check loop section, basic hardware checking is done. I highly suggest to leave this loop as it is. Now coming to the loop section which is the most important part of this entire code that is getting the values from our sensor. We first need to call the variables using mpu.read raw gyro or mpu.read normalize gyro. Now the concept of this raw and normalize is such that raw are basically numbers and normalized values are values which go through the filters and calculation or you can say processed data. We have three axes called as x, y and z which can be called using the variable name which we set as raw gyro followed by name of axis. To make a project we need these three values of x, y and z axis using this variable name dot axis command. Now that our example code looks like it is ready to go, let's upload this and see if our sensor is working in our serial port. 
Don't forget to match the serial port with the baud rate which we defined in the start of the code. If your wiring and hardware is proper, you should get the values of each axis on the serial port. Now this was the very basic part. We can use our sensor to control a model paper plane using processing software but that's a tutorial for our next video. Subscribe and hit the notification button to never miss any updates from Mission Critical. Also give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Until the next one, goodbye.